We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the L.A. Dodgers and the St. Louis Cardinals. Into the box now, Justin Turner, and we are set for baseball here this evening. The 2 1 home. And that is in there at the letters to run it full three and two. And we'll see some 40s before things are said and done tonight. Right now, 51 degrees at first pitch. And he lays off ball four. And the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. The 1-1. One, one. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. Hudson has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. The second for one. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. He went deep in the contest last night. Mookie. Yeah. The 1-1. One, one. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second. Fielded cleanly to second for one. Relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And that brings in the former National League Rookie of the Year, Cody Bellinger. 1-1 one, one is taken for ball two. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. And he just manages to get his hand in. Set to deliver on two and one. Pitch popped up. Carpenter has a play. And that retires the side. Colton Wong will stand in. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. On the ground to the right side. And that is through into right field for a single. So now to the plate, Tommy Edmond. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. There goes the runner. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. And there's one away. So a runner on second with one down now. And stepping in, the power hitting first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. Hit on the ground to third. And that's through into left, a base hit. The third baseman. Into the box now. Matt Carpenter. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. Ready with the 1 1. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. All even now, two and two. Again, another foul ball. The 2-2. Two -two. Tyler O'Neill would be next. Here's the payoff pitch. Slow roller down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Ready with the payoff pitch. He loses him on ball four. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Tyler O'Neill. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. 
Wheel. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Wong on third. Goldschmidt at second. Molina on at first with two down. And it's fouled away. The set and the one two. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And he'll go the short way to retire the shot. And that'll bring up the versatile Max Muncy. Couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. The 1 1. Misses for the second ball. In there, two and two. Now here it comes. Skied into straightaway right. Bader moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for at number one. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And in steps a former World Series hero, the outfielder Jock Peterson. The 2-1. Misses off the plate. Will Smith waits on deck. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Next for the Dodgers, Will Smith. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Now the one and one pitch. Misses ball two. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. And he misses again. Ball three. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. Down the third baseline. And this is going to be a foul ball. Good battle. Count remains full. And he fouls this one off. He's set. Here's the three and two. No score here as we play inning number two. And he misses again here. It's ball four. And that's back to back walks here with one away. Standing in, Zach McKinstry comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to 2 and 2. Comes set. Now the pitch. A oh, double play ball to second. Four. One there. On to Goldschmidt, but too late as they'll just get the one. So runners at the corners with two gone. And that left-handed pitcher who bats right, Alex Wood, will hit next. Ready with the 1-1. One -one. Just the second inning, but already 37 pitches to this point. Good hard sinker, but he lays off to even things at two and two. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. And sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Count remains two and two. Even at two and two. The pitch. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, but this will land untouched. Hit back up the middle. Wong has it, and the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over.
Next to bat for St. Louis, Lane Thomas. He was not much of a factor at the plate during yesterday's win as he took an 0 for 4 line. 1 and 2 now as that one's fouled off. And the pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Another 1 2 delivery. Lays off 2 and 2 now. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a 1 2 count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Now another 2 2. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it, one gone. And that'll bring up the former top prospect, Harrison Bader. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. A leap, but he can't rein it in. It's off the wall. Around second now, and this ball still hasn't been fielded. And he's going to get there with a one-out triple. Number 43. In now, Dakota Hudson. Cardinals pitcher up there with a one and two count. Popped up. Muncie in foul ground. Two down. Coming to the plate now, Colton Wong. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Here's the one two. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. Popped him up. Smith is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Next up for Los Angeles, Justin Turner. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Now the 2-1 pitch. Ground ball sent back up. Reined in. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So the base is empty here with one away. And up next, the former All-Star shortstop, Corey Seager. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. Ready now, Mookie Betts. Reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. Yeah, but small victories right now. This guy on the mound is throwing a no-no, and he put the ball in play last time. Maybe a ground ball with eyes, and we could change the whole momentum of this one. A bouncer up the middle. That's a hit. The first in this game for the Dodgers. Up next to the Dodgers, the right fielder, Cody Bellinger. Into the box, Cody Bellinger. Right side. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. And that runner will go no further than second, as there are two okay. aboard now. The first baseman, Max. At the plate, Max Muncy. Back up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead one nothing. And the plate now, Jock Peterson. And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. Out of here, into the visitor's bullpen. So now to the plate, Will Smith. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. 
two and two to the Dodgers catcher. The two two. Oh, that one got the pitcher. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Now that second base back McKinstry. Stepping in now, Zach McKinstry. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. Standing in, Tommy Edmond. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. There a dive and he knocks it down. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. Into the box now, Paul Goldschmidt. Swung on and missed, one and two now. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Hit back up the middle. Bare-handed for one. Over to Muncie, and they double him up. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the sweet-swinging Matt Carpenter. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. And that misses two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Yadier Molina would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Wood sets. One two on its way. Popped him up. Muncie shading to his right. And the inning is over. So here now is the pitcher, Alex Wood, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam. Sandwich. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Scooped up. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. One gun now in the Dodger fourth, and that'll bring up the third baseman, Justin Turner. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Grounded back up the middle, reined in. And there are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone, and striding to the plate will be Corey Seeger. Four runs, five hits, no errors for the Dodgers thus far. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Off balance throw. Gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Leading off the inning, Tyler O'Neill. And they'll need him to get something going here. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Now the pitch. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Oh, behind the back. Runner at first following the error. And next it'll be the outfielder, Lane Thomas. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone.
bouncer up the middle. And that's through for a hit. The right fielder, number 48, Harris there. Standing in now, Harrison Bader. One and two now. One and two. Line to the right side. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. Jairo Munoz will get a chance to really deliver off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with the bases loaded and nobody out. Down low, two balls and a strike. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Line hard to the left side. Foul. The 2 2. It's laid off and the count runs full. Colton Wong waits on deck. Now a swing and a fly ball. Right fielder is on the run, but this will land untouched. He'll try it again, three and two. Count remains full. Another full count pitch home. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Back goes Betts at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch, and he is in there. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up Colton Wong. And he misses two and one. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Into the box, Tommy Edmond. Fastball called strike, one and two. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. Takes this the other way to right. In there. Base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Now back out, first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. At the plate, Paul Goldschmidt. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Grounder down the line at third, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. A tag for one. Throw to Muncy to finish the double play. That retires the side. Number 62 takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. Here's Mookie Betts. The three and one pitch. Out into right center. Well hit. Betts is going to turn for second. So now to the plate, Cody Bellinger. And a big swing and a miss here, two strikes. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And the throw is there to record the first out. 
Russo striding in. Yeah, Max Muncy singled home a run in his last yeah. time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. In the dirt here, runner holds as the count moves to two and one. We're in the fifth inning of a four to three ball game here. Into the corner and slicing foul. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up. In time to first and there are two away. Man at second here with two away. And in steps a former World Series hero, the outfielder Jock Peterson. The set and the one two that misses and we're even at two and two. Here's one that misses inside and the counts run full now three and two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of getting in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy looking at a fastball to end the inning. Jimmy Nelson will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Now batting Matt Carpenter. It was a walk in his last trip. The one two. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Heading for second is Carpenter. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Now back to the plate now. Yadier Molina. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Rounded softly down the line toward first. And he'll take this to the bag himself for the first out, but it's a productive one as the runner moves up to third. So stepping in, Tyler O'Neill, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. with the plate Lane Thomas and he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun runners are at the corners with one man out a ball and two strikes can't come out of his game plan right here he knows he's a known sinker baller I know it was a four seamer right there but get back to that two seam it's what his MO is The one two is a sinker that misses for a ball. Good eye to lay off the knuckle curve that time and he makes it a full count. I don't think he can afford another base runner here so whatever pitch he feels best about whichever one he feels most comfortable with that's the one I expect him to turn to. Into right field, that's a base hit. And the tying run is in to score from third. A right fielder, number 48. Stepping in now, Harrison Bader. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. And the slider gets him swinging to gone. Paul DeYoung will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. That's going to even up the count at two and two. Two down runners at first and second. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. 
Here's the payoff pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. He set the payoff pitch. And he lays off ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. The second baseman. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Betts giving chase. And he makes the catch as just the one run comes across in the inning. Genesis Cabrera is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Number 92. New inning set to get underway, so digging in now, Will Smith. 1-1. Cue shot here out towards short. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. The second baseman. Zach. Into the box McKinstry. now. Zach McKinstry. One and two now. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. A.J. Powell will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. A.J. Powell. Fouled away. Here's a pop-up now. Edmund waits on it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So two gone now for the Dodgers in the sixth. And digging in at the plate will be Justin Turner. Now the three and two pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Long run for the right fielder. A dive and he brings it in. And on a fantastic play, the inning is over. Ross Stripling enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 68. Digging in the switch hitter, Tommy Edmond. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. The 1 1. He is taken for strike two. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Hard hit ball to second. That's through a base hit, and he's got his third hit of the game. Standing in now, Paul Goldschmidt. Swing and a ball pulled hard down the line and left. And this will get to the wall over near the 336 marker. Edmund rounds the corner and is headed home. In to score is the runner from first. In now, Matt Carpenter. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. The one two. Fouled off. Five runs, 12 hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. This is on the ground over to first. And it's a productive first out as that runner is able to advance 90 feet up to third here. So a runner stands at third. One man is out. And here now is the catcher, Yadier Molina. I mean, Yadi, when he first broke on the scene, was a defender first and foremost. You can't say that anymore. I mean, he's evolved into a really, really nice offensive player. And he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night. It's a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Now back, left fielder, Tyler. At the plate, Tyler O'Neill. Oh, Maybe a... trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Two-one pitch is a knuckle curve taken for a called strike two. Right, 
ground ball sent back up the middle. The second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Seventh inning ready to roll. Next at the plate will be Corey Seager. He was a ground out victim last time up. The 3 2 pitch. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up in there a base hit. So with a man aboard now the RBI men will have an opportunity with nobody out in the inning. Now that At the plate now Mookie Betts. Now a ball lined to the left side. But foul. The one two. <laughs> Ball swung on and missed for the first out. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. He went down on strikes last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Now the 2 1 pitch. That's a tough curveball right there to stay into as a lefty hitter. That ball looks like it's almost going to hit you, and it breaks over the inside half of the plate. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring up the big bat of Max Muncy. The 2-1. That's ball three. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so... He can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Pulled toward right center field. Bader is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Last half of the seventh here, so coming to the plate, Lane Thomas. He singled his last time up. Now the 2 1 is laid off of for ball number three. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Count still full, three and two. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Peterson comes on now and he has it one down. Digging in, Harrison Bader. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Ball even at two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. Peterson is there, two gone. Now back. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Dexter Fowler will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Dexter Fowler. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Alexander stands 6-2 and throws from the left side. He was taken in the sixth round back in the 2010 first-year player draft. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Andrew Miller has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 21, Andrew. So next to bat will be the left-handed hitting John Peterson. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at-bat. 
Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. And that's upstairs, running the count to three and one. And in a two-run game right here, you really don't want to walk the leadoff guy to start an inning. You've got to keep that tying run in the on-deck circle as long as you can. O'Neill is there, and he'll bring this one in. Digging in, now back Will Smith. The catcher, Will Smith. The one-two. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Kike Hernandez will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Kike Hernandez. Runner at first here, one man out. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Lifetime against Andrew Miller. He's one for two. Slow little roller to third. He's got it. Long for one. The turn throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. Blake Trinan will come on now, and he'll slide into the seventh spot in the lineup following the double switch. Austin Barnes will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Now playing second base and batting eight, number 14. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series and maybe even the whole week ahead three and one to him now too close for comfort and he did a good job just to make contact three two pitch Hit back up the middle. Oh, what a stop. He gathers the throw. Got him. And that's a huge play to keep the leadoff man off base. Digging in, Tommy Edmond. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. The 1-1. One, one. one out, nobody on. And a 2-1 slider is looked at for a called strike two. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off-speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. And here's a good sinker now, but it misses. Three and two. On deck, the powerful right-handed bat of Paul Goldschmidt. Full count still. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. There's ball four. So a runner at first now with one away. And that'll bring up the big bat of Paul Goldschmidt. The one-two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that brings up Matt Carpenter. I think he's forgotten about sometimes Matt Carpenter when we talk about the best hitters in our sport. I think he's one of the more underrated offensive players. And it's fouled away. A swing and a miss at a sinker. The strikeout retires the side. Inning is over. Giovanni Gallegos comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. So here's Austin Barnes. 
looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. Swing and a hot shot toward third. And that is in the left field. So the leadoff man's aboard to kick off the ninth. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Into the box, Justin Turner. That's in there. And it'll run the count to full three and two. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. Hit high in the air down the right field line. Right fielder coming on. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Runner at second, one away. And up next, the former All-Star shortstop, Corey Seager. Three and one is the count to the Dodgers shortstop. Watching him on the mound right now, I think he's just having trouble throwing strikes to this guy. Up only two runs. I don't think he's working around it. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. And that misses nope. ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Chris Taylor okay. will come on now and pinch run okay. here. Mookie. Now to the plate, yeah. Mookie Betts. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Two and one now to Mookie. Hit the other way out toward right field. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. So here's Cody Bellinger. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. This is swung on and missed, so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. That's not a pitch he misses very often. He knows he should have done something with that one. Full count to Bellinger, three balls, two strikes. Now this crowd right around 35,000 strong on their feet. And he struck him out for out number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first. Yeah, and they just keep on keeping on. They got a nice little run going here, winning four in a row and playing with a lot of confidence. Success is never guaranteed in this game, so you have to appreciate it when it comes. A 6-4 to four finish in tonight's affair. St. Louis wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Genesis Cabrera claims the win out of the pen his first. Giovanni Gallegos closes the door for the save, his third of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Baskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the shownation.com. For the victorious St. Louis Cardinals, six runs on 13 hits, no errors. They left 12 men on base. For the Dodgers, four runs on nine hits, one error. They left 10 men on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and 20 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight, and we remind you to please drive home.